Hey guys, welcome back to week 14, cycle three. We're continuing our science experiments in chemistry. This week, the word of the week is matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Um, Merriam-Webster, in a real dictionary here, says, also defines it as the substance of which a physical object is composed. And so all things are made up of matter. Now, scientists have discovered, and they theorize and believe, that no two states of matter can occur in the same space. So that is what we're testing today, that idea that no two states of matter can occur in the same space. Um, as a little review, um, who can tell me, who remembers, what are the states of matter? The states of matter are solid, liquid, gas, Plasma, these are the states of matter. Um, so from our previous cycles in science. Um, so review the states of matter so they understand um, a little bit more what matter is. Uh, matter also can be defined by its physical characteristics, like is it heavy, its color, um, its feel. So matter can be described like that. Or it can also be described by chemical properties like is it flammable, um, flammable, um, or those kind of things that aren't seen and felt, but also define um, a particular kind of matter. So, first experiment is number 83 in our Van Cleves, called Not at the Same Time. Um, here our materials include a nine ounce clear glass or plastic um, cup, you're going to have some water. I went ahead and filled my cup for the sake of time. And six marbles. Okay? So, first of all, you're going to show the kids. We have a plain cup. We're going to fill it halfway up with water, which you can get out of the sink. And then you need tape. Um, so, my tutors, you can use your painter's tape or masking tape. You're going to put the tape at the top line of the water. And this is just our marker. So again, I put the tape kind of at the top line of um, the water. So in our cup here, the water, the water molecules, we talked last week about molecules and how they come together and create things. The water molecules are taking up space because water is a type of liquid matter. Um, up here, we also have gas or air taking up space. And so in this cup, all those water molecules down there, now we're going to add a solid type of matter in these marbles. So we're gonna add them to our liquid matter and what would be your hypothesis? What do you think is gonna to happen to the water? Is it gonna change at all? Is it going to be squished down? Is it going to come up? Um, get your hypotheses out there from your kiddos. And then we're going to slowly, you want to tilt the cup so it doesn't splash and you actually lose some of your liquid matter. And you're going to put the marbles in one at a time, very carefully. Four, five, and six. And then you're going to lay it down and let's look at our water line. Did it change or move? And yes, you can see it raised up probably a couple, um, maybe half a centimeter there up above our previous water line. And why is that? Why did that happen? Well, like we said, two states of matter cannot contain, the, be in the same place. So when we added the solid matter in the marbles, it pushed the water molecules away and up. So it took up more space and pushed everything up again because the water cannot be in the same space as the marbles. And so that was um, our test. When we add a solid to a liquid, the water molecules are moved. And if you wanted to, especially with the older kids, talk about the air molecules. Did the air molecules, were they moved and changed? Yes, they also were pushed up and out of the cup um, because of the liquid and the solid below them that are heavier and dense, which we'll talk about that in a couple weeks. So the second experiment you're gonna to do to test this theory of can two states of matter 
be in the same place at the same time. That first one said, no, solid and liquid can't be in the same place or gas. Um, the next one is um, number 84, it's called dry paper. For this one, this is a really cool experiment, super fun. Um, you're gonna have a bucket. Um, you can tell I've used my buckets for painting parties. Um, so all my tutors will have a bucket very similar to this. You will still have your nice dry um, clear cup. Okay, you're gonna take your clear cup, show the kids it's empty, there's nothing magical in it, there's no tape or glue or anything like that. I'm gonna take a dry paper towel, if I can feel it's a dry paper towel, you're just gonna roll it into a ball. Now you need like a full size paper towel because you want it to fully squish to the bottom here. And we're just gonna squish it in there so it looks like that. You wanna check it out, make sure your paper towel is not going to fall out. If it does fall out, then you need to um, add the second paper towel. But with these little cups, one pretty much does the trick. So you wanna make sure it doesn't fall out. So if you will show them, so. Um, so we have this bucket. You're going to fill it about three fourths full. You want it to be more full than the cup because we're gonna fully submerge this cup. And so you want the water about three fourths full in this bucket. You've stuffed the paper towel in here. And again, we're testing the theory, can two states of matter um, exist in the same space? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this cup upside down and submerge it in this water. What do you think is gonna to happen to the paper towel at the bottom? Do you think it's going to get soaked and soppy? Do you think it's gonna stay dry? Do you think it's gonna fall out? What do you think is gonna happen? Get your hypotheses and then um, try it out. So turn it flat so it sits right on top of the water. You're gonna submerge it all the way down so it's completely covered. Let all the kids kind of sit around you and see this. And then as you pull it out, you check and ta -da! we have a dry paper towel. Um, you can even get it out and prove it. And so why, how in the world do we submerge a paper towel into water and it didn't get wet. Well, it's that theory again. So we've got our paper towel and then we're full of air or a gas uh, type of matter. The air takes up space. So when we put it in here, that air is telling the water molecules to get out of my way um, because it is taking up space. So the air takes up space and acts like a barrier between the paper towel and the water. So very cool, fun experiment. Um, uh, each of these are tutor demonstration. And then if you have time, um, especially this bucket one, have the kids sit around you spaced out and um, they can do it one at a time and experiment and figure what's that. You can also play around with this idea. So, you know, what happens if we put the cup in sideways, does that work the same? If not, why not? Um, that kind of thing. So um, have fun experimenting on matter.